Uh, good afternoon. It's Lorraine at uh, Wellness Gathering, and we're here again to continue taking ownership of our health and well-being and mindset uh, with the principles of core alignment. And today we're going to fo fo be focusing on the word S for support and supportive. And uh, the host is Lynn Hilderman, who's a specialist in core alignment hearing and coaching. And Lynn, I'll just pass it on to you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, welcome. Well, we're going to be focusing on support and and what is supportive in our life. And so we're going to start with a question. We're going to say our name. We're going to say where we are. And the question for today is, what is something that you see in front of you besides your computer? <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Lynn and I'm in Calgary, Alberta, and something that I see directly in front of me that is not my computer is, um, is well, I have this closet that's right in front of me and, and it's, it's the closet that belongs to this room and inside that closet, it's like, a, it's my storage closet. So it's got a lot of uh, extra sheets and pillows and just, it's sort of a catch all for things that we don't have room for, but it's got my supplies for doing my work. So that's what's in front of me. Janet? In front of me, beside my computer, outside of looking at my computer, I have- Say your name, say where you are. <laughs> Hello, I'm Janet, I'm in Calgary. And in front of me, I have boxes of shoes and uh, trying to decipher if they will work for me, fit for me, which ones I can put in a brace, which one I can get rid of, sell. Um, yeah, it's a project. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Don Marie? I'm Don Marie, and I am from Sacramento, California, and what I see in front of me is a workstation that I didn't know I had. I <laughs> had so much stuff piled up here. I just used it as a storage space until someone said, you know, you could use that as your desk. <laughs> so over the weekend, I started clearing things out and moved it around and my computer fits here and I got a light. I who would have thought that I had this space in my home? That's so awesome. awesome. Moving things around. That's so cool. Olive? My name's Olive. I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I don't have much in front of me other than a wall, but to the right of me, I have all my plants. So it's my happy place. Awesome. <laughs> Madeline? Hi, Madeline. I'm in Calgary, and I have in front of me a vase that has pink roses and baby's breath and mm. and napkins. That's directly in front of me on the other side of my computer. So there, I'm happy with a little vase of fresh flowers. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> Lorraine? Uh, I'm Lorraine. I'm in Osoyas, British Columbia. And what I have right in front of me is my pinko light. Because it, I have to put light on this side. If I move it, it's dark. It's dark. So you've got to get the right lighting. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, that's so cool. So we've got a variety of things that are right in front of us. And often the things that are right in front of us are, you know, things that get our attention. And, uh, so we're going to be looking at support and how we're supported or not supported or how we receive support or what receiving support means and looking at things in life that support our health and our wellness and taking more ownership for our, our lives and in our health and our wellness and anything else that we want to take more ownership of. So support is a very big word and it, it brought up a lot for me because it brings up a lot around help and asking for help and, and receiving help and helpability because that is a skill in life that I think goes with being able to receive support or ask for support or be supported. So when you think of the word support or being supportive, what's the first thing that comes up for you? We'll just go around, Madeline. 
Uh, the first thing that came up for me, um, well, was being, um, well, in theater or in film, you're, you've got a supported, you've got a supporting role, an actor or actress. And so, uh, you know, it kind of made me think of contribution and support is, you know, they're there to assist um, in the bigger picture of making the bigger picture real and so it kind of made me think in the realm of all the elements that are required when you're you know when you're in your life in your health in your all the supporting roles that that you have going on in your life mm. cool awesome so that yeah the bigger picture <laughs> being able to <laughs> How about you, Olive? First thing that came to mind for me was technical support. I uh, I often need technical help. Um, I have a I have a guy that I call when I'm in big trouble, but sometimes it's just family. Um, I'll call my son-in-law, my daughters. Technical support is what I need. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Don Marie? I would have to say support means to me is having a group of people that I can call on when I need help. I mean, I was thinking about my BFF. I mean, she's always there if I need her to come and help me with anything. Then I thought about my my trainer, I go work out three times a week at her gym. And, you know, I was telling her over the weekend, I need to restructure what I'm doing because something is not working. So she right away sent me an email with some things that could help me in my journey to, you know, getting, losing some weight. And then I thought about, I reached out to one of my Toastmasters friends and I said, you know, I need some help with my website. You know, I, there's this glitch there. And he instantly turned me on to his cousin, who is a webmaster, not by not by choice. He took a class and he learned how to do it, but he said he hates it, but he was willing <laughs> to help and support me. So I was like, thank you. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> that, that goes with that asking for help, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm, totally. How about you, Janet? The very first thing that came to mind, and I'm going to stick with it because it, I guess it's fitting and it's humorous, um, is finding a bra that fits and supports me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I go through, I go through a period and, and, you know, found out in, in some earlier years that, you know, what bra worked, you know, last year or last month doesn't necessarily work all, you know, for the next month going forward. But, and then finding some wonderful supportive bras and then the manufacturer discontinues them. So it, it's like this constant, <laughs> constant seeking of finding a supportive garment. <laughs> bubbles up over here. And I guess, I guess the, the underlying message is, is that support, seeking support, um, is different all the time mm. and you know we sometimes try to fit into the support that's offered us but it's not always the best fitting one and <laughs> <laughs> where else can there be more support <laughs> that is so awesome what a great analogy <laughs> how about you Lorraine okay well, well the first thing that came to my mind uh, Actually, there's a couple of things. Right now, I, you know, I'm, as I say, I've got a few mobility issues. So I I seek the support of all the technology I have lying around here. So I duct tape my legs and my hip. And it's not duct tape for fixtures. It's it's a special uh, duct tape. Uh, got technology farm for red and technologies that Nikan has puts in it. So I'm duct taped. 
<laughs> and, and and I'm wearing a, a, a wrap on my, my leg as well today. And it certainly has eased the discomfort and make me a little bit far more mobile, more, I'm not wrenching my face. So that was, that's the support. It's like putting on a bra wow. that fits. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's so, you know, when I think of them, I mean, it's so, so vast, right? This whole support thing. So we've gotten around to creating this bigger picture and seeing the, the roles that support other roles and then asking for help in different areas, noticing that it's not fitting, it's not working uh, you know, the technical support and then this, this thing that's always changing and not, you know, <laughs> so it, it, it really brings up a, a really big sort of a, a cross between asking for support, receiving support that's already there, but knowing that there could be better support at any time, really, that the support is always changing. So I guess my question is, what what do you think, um, with things always changing, what what would be supportive if, as things are always changing? If things are always changing, how do I keep asking for help? How do I keep receiving support or knowing what I need? So how do you see that playing out as you're moving forward in your lives? I'll go the other way, Lorraine? Yeah, well, you know, I think support in anything, if you're stuck or you need a, a, something answered, there's support. You just Google it and there's support. <laughs> and as uh, there's all the, the answers are already there. You just have to find them and acknowledge them, be aware of them and apply them to what you're asking for. Uh, you know, you're not alone in this world because there's a bigger energy out there that has all these little vibrations that can support you awesome janet Oof. can you pose the question again <laughs> well looking at this this you know as things are changing i mean because it's like bras they change right things change <laughs> and then it's like what support do I need right now you know sometimes I don't feel like I need support I'm good right like I'm good uh, things are fitting but then all of a sudden something's not working how do I ask for help you know so how do you see that kind of playing out in your yeah, health and I, wellness and so for me I feel it's looking in other areas that I haven't looked and you know, there's so much at our disposal, yet, you know, what other people do I need to talk to? Um, what other medical people do I need to interview? And then going in with not a conclusion of, well, that didn't work last month, last year also with taking the awareness of information and experience that's been gathered. And I'm gonna say, it's almost like putting all the information in a garden, not dismissing, you know, someone else's supportive expression. Um, and then I guess just watering all those possibilities together to see what supportive measure can actually grow from it. Um, I guess more inclusion without exclusion, um, but it's also okay to pick a weed out of a weed of support that just doesn't feel supportive. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes support can come to us where it's, it might feel supportive from someone else, yet in our own knowing, it's you know that's not going to be a a measure for positive support forward. Mm. Uh, discernment we got discern back to discernment got it <laughs> don marie mm. well i think the biggest thing that i struggle with in trying to make a change with support is asking for help um you know it takes me a while to process it in my mind to ask someone to help me 
because in the past there's been occasions where I've used someone to support me in a certain situation and it just backfired. I just felt like they betrayed me. And so I have this antenna that goes up when I feel like I need to ask for help. I have to go through a lot of processing to make it happen. Um, so I'm learning that um, with being involved with Nikon, uh, it has afforded me lots of support without me really having to ask for it. So just being okay with the fact that the support is there, I just have to go get it and get out of my head with asking for it. So utilizing that skill a little bit more, I think will help me to be better at asking for support. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Olive? Um, for me, I think it's a, a matter of not always asking the same person for support. Um, of kind of broadening the circle of people that I can go to. Um, I tend to ask my daughter that lives in the city for support most of the time. And uh, I tend to broaden that. Um, quite often there'll be a situation and weeks later someone will say, well, why didn't you call me? Why didn't you ask for help? So be proactive about what asking for help, I guess. Mm, got, it. got it. Madeline? Well, I think really, really good points. Everybody has made excellent points. I like discernment jumped out for me, being discerning about, you know, take, being open to whatever advice, whatever, uh, whatever uh, help is being offered, but knowing in your own mind, what works for you. So I think there is, you know, a big, a big need to know what it is you really, really want and be clear about it. Um, mm -hmm. It's not just asking for help, it's being clear about asking. And therefore, you know, communication is a big part of it, I think. And, uh, and having, having an understanding that they may not have the answer for you that you were looking for, but they might have a seed of an idea of something. So that discernment really stood out for me. And also the courage to ask, like that's, that takes a lot to, you know, to be in that position of vulnerability where you're not sure <laughs> what you're, what you're getting into, like what, Don Marie said, like, maybe it's not the right thing to ask this particular person, but you're taking a chance and not be offended if that isn't the way you expected it to unfold. So there's a lot of elements to that, yeah. to all of it, really. It's quite amazing. Totally, totally. So much, so much from, from this conversation. When I think of support and, and just how it shows up, it well, it takes me to knowing what I want and having that clarity of what is it that I'm actually asking for. And sometimes I'm really clear and sometimes I'm not. I just have to sort of take a leap and and ask and see where it leads, because maybe that's going to give me the clarity around refining what it is that I'm really asking for, what kind of support I really need, especially if it comes to health, con you know, health concerns or uh, you know, maybe even business concerns or something like that, right? It's like, where do I even start? And so, and it brings, you know, with core alignment and emotional wisdom training, there's the five principles of this work is knowing what you want, knowing what you want it for, asking for it, showing up, keeping your word and having that natural attitude of gratitude along the way, knowing that we're always gathering more information and knowing that life is still happening, there's always that flow going forward or changing all the time. So, so the, it kind of plays into the, these principles of asking for help, knowing what I want when I ask, and and uh, and then having the courage to ask. Because sometimes I might not ask the right person and, I, you know, <laughs> right? 
Or maybe I'm always asking the same person when I could ask someone else, like, you know, what makes me, you know, ask my one daughter for help, but I don't ask the other two because I have this belief that I think, oh, well, they're not going to help me, right? <laughs> so, or whatever. <laughs> it could be as simple as that, right? I get programmed into thinking that I might not get the help that I'm asking for. So, <laughs> so with support, what, what kind of support would you like to have in your life right now? Madeline, what kind of support would you like to ask for right now? The kind of support I would like to ask for right now is, um, well, it, it very much nuts and bolts of what I'm doing in terms of doing a lot of reading and uh, analyzing other people's work. And so having having more stuff at my fingertips for what is the you know the the way to organize all that and i do have support but i don't often ask the support that i have already lined up so i would i would say that that was like what is really more in my face right at this moment in time and and you know it's not something that i that i need in terms of i can i can find it but i want shortcuts so that's <laughs> kind of where i'm at finding Got shortcuts Got it. Got it. janet what kind of support would you like to ask for right now i would like to ask for support that's going to help my lower legs i uh have come into some more little obstacles with regards to that. And um, along with that support with just managing at home. Cool, awesome. Don Marie? I would like support with having someone come into my home and help me to purge. I just can't get rid of things. And, you know, I just spent a couple of months cleaning out my sister's house. And I thought, man, I don't want to have to leave anybody with that responsibility. So getting someone to come in here and just kind of helping me to release things that I know that I need to release. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Olaf? Well, right now, I would like help with purchasing a new phone. Um, my husband passed away a year and a half ago and he was always the guy that did the research and found out what kind of phone was the best one for my needs. And um, yeah, I can, I can go online and do that research, but I just like somebody to tell me what to buy and where to go and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Got, it. Got it. Got it. Awesome. Lorraine? Well, what kind of support I'd like to ask for right now or what I need? somebody to come in and dust the cobwebs down and dust my house and uh, just keep things a little bit more tidy. There's, you know, how dust, and of course, in a, living in a trailer, it's dusty and cobwebby. <laughs> I like some housekeeping support. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, what, what, what kind of support would I like right now? Um, well, well, I don't know. The, the thing that's coming up for me is how important it is to ask for what we want and to give a space to ask for these things. And even if it's, you know, we've just gone around very simply and asked for something really simple that would just really be supportive in our lives right now. And so uh, what I would like to ask for is, um, wow. Wow. I don't know, I, I guess a, a little bit more ease just moving forward with with um, with just my work and with family and all kinds of changes going on with my family. And uh, for me, it's always about my family. So <laughs> I'd like to have more ease in moving forward. So... What will you take with you from this conversation that will support you until we talk again? Madeline? 
what I will take with me that will support me until we talk again. Um, well, certainly all the forms of support um, that came out today, that's, uh, that was really interesting how when you think of it in terms of the many layers that you know happens in our lives and at at different points in our lives our support systems are different and so to think back um on the kind of support we had you know throughout our lives that's that's an interesting thing to contemplate as well so just i think just the importance of being uh, aware of having the freedom to ask for support and not get bogged, not get bogged down. Mm. Awesome. Don Marie? I, I like that. And, you know, being aware and, and having the support and, you know, asking in spite of, you know, what goes on in my head about who I should and should not ask, but, you know, it's valuable to have a support system like me, I'm by myself. So to have that support system is, it's kind of vital. Uh, I tell my friends, you know, I put a key here or, you know, I want you to know where things are. So if something happens to me, you know where to find things. And so I guess being grateful and asking and utilizing the resources that I have and, you know, having that discernment uh, knowing who I should and should not go to and um, being mindful of those supportive people that are in my, in my life. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll take away till we awesome. meet again. Awesome. Janet? What I will take away that will support me for the rest of my life is that um, each and every one of us requires some sort of support at some time and um i also recognize that i'm i'm willing to support others in need but yes let you see it yet less able to request it when i require it and i have a tendency to you know let it get past the point of needed that support you know a couple of few weeks ago um but then also feeling good about when i do you know, make the request. Um, and over and above that, you know, where else can I look that I haven't looked or approached in the past for the support? And what could that support actually look like and being open to what that actually could be? Mm. Awesome. Olive? Um, I will take away from today's conversation to last until next week. The uh, thought that being independent is is good, but there's uh, you have to give up a bit of your independence sometimes to feel supported. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Lorraine. Yes, what I'll take away until we meet next week. Uh, uh, from this conversation. Well, I think I'm like you all of us. It's it's not giving up your independence and because you need support. And you still, I mean, although you feel that you can still do things, but if you just need a little help, uh, be aware that it's okay to have some help. And uh, it's, uh, you know, you don't, I, you, I get in my head that I don't want to feel that I'm going to be have to have so much help that I can't accept it. And it's to accept the help if I, you know, need it. I think that, you know, accepting and, you know, it's, uh, you get in the mindset that the, I can still be independent, but yet reality, I might need a help and accepting it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I would all take away uh, till we meet again is, uh, how important it is to really know what I want. And when I really know what it is I want, it's easier for me to ask for support. Mm -hmm. And I would like to be able to hone that skill as I move forward 
because if I'm really clear with what I want, I can ask very specifically for what I want. And then I don't get the things that I don't want. You know, because if it's if it's like, okay, I need somebody to sharpen my pencil, well, sharpen my pencil, don't go and get me a bunch of erasers and, and some pens. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think just so this element of really, you know, really kind of taking some time and going, like, what what do I what kind of help do I really want? And what would be really supportive of me right now in this moment and in this time? So, so what will you take with you that'll support you for the rest of your life, Lorraine? I think uh, what I'll take away for the rest of my life is just uh, being open for support and when you need them, and and you know accept the fact that there's some things I can't do anymore, and uh, and just. Feel good about it. Feel good about asking for, you know, that support. Because sometimes you just don't want to admit that uh, <laughs> I don't want to admit that I'm I'm not that independent as I was before. Right. Olaf? I will take with me to support me for the rest of my life um, the ability to Maybe anticipate my own needs a little bit more than I have to uh, to maybe ask for help before I really I'm overwhelmed and really in trouble. So ask before I need it is going to be my takeaway. Mm -hmm. Janet? Well, you know, you mentioned about uh, what, what's going to support me for the rest of these days. Um, going forward is uh, it comes back to that discernment is realizing that other people will shoot uh, erasers and pens at me <laughs> when, when, when I know when I know you know it's the pencil or the sharp uh, HB uh, number 112 is going to be the best the best one um, and over and above that is being is being gentle on myself um, I'm going to say supporting myself not being uh, derogative, you know, when I run out of steps uh, that I can't do what I desire to do or I can't do what I could do, you know, six years ago, six months ago, six days ago kind of thing. And just taking that repose to um, honor, you know, support myself in honoring that this is what is required right now. And that even though I wish it was different, it doesn't diminish me as a person. And I think um, I'm not very supportive of myself when I want to do so many other things physically and don't have the footsteps in my capacity to to do such. So um, supporting myself in a way that I may never have. Awesome. Awesome. Don Marie? What I will take away from today that will support me for the rest of my life is to uh, know that support is all around me. I just have to ask and, and be mindful of what I what my needs are and be very succinct in what I'm asking for. So that's what I will take away. Madeline? What I will take with me that will support me for the rest of my life from all of this um, well, we, we shared a, a few good giggles, some good laughs, and I think that is uh, very supportive. And so to not take ourselves too seriously, not for me to take myself too seriously, is a part of that uh, growth and support, knowing ourselves and our support system, what works for us. So that's what I'm going to take with me. Mm. Awesome. Well, what I will take with me that will support me for the rest of my life is ah, uh, the miracle of us getting together and how supportive it is to have a structure and to create that structure to take a simple concept and broaden it and 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 the vulnerability and the fun, the fun with vulnerability. Yes. And um I mean, they don't, they kind of seem contraindicated together, but, but there's a, a, 
something about the space to gather all the information and to become more resourceful, you know, uh, to be able to look at things just a little bit differently will be, will support me for the rest of my life. So thank you for showing up and uh, not sure what next week will be, but we'll have three more, <laughs> three more, conver three more weeks here. <laughs> yeah, three more weeks. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Lynn, and all everybody that participated today. It was fun. We've got a full picture of what support is. So we just have to go out there and challenge it. And uh, be, uh, anyway, next week, we're going to be doing H, humor or humorous. So mm. we'll see you <laughs> next week. Have a good rest of the day and uh, and we'll see you.